Hi everyone, Elizabeth here. I wanted to give you a quick update as to how this four Midori journal worked for me on my trip a couple of weeks ago to Las Vegas. If you haven't seen the video as to how I make this journal, I'll post a link down below in the description section. It is It has held up really well, as you can tell. Now again, it was only a week's worth of travel, but I just loved how easy this was to use. I loved having the different signatures that I could take in and out. I actually really ended up using, you know, that private journal I talked to you about, and then I've got this other signature in the back that I'm going to be using for a trip that's coming up this coming week. But just um, take a look at that video and see how this video, this journal was put together. But like I said, it just works out really well. And I wanted to talk a little bit about today about the, the I've had a bunch of questions on what kind of supplies do I take with me in terms of um, material. So one, I basically pre-prepare a journal like this with the signatures, and you can take a look at that video. But I also knew that I was going to be um, spending a little bit of time journaling with my nieces, but we would be doing a lot of other activities, so not a lot of time to be journaling. Now, one of the questions someone asked me is, how do you get all of that journaling done? And here's my advice. It's astonishing how much you can get done if you just spend a few minutes every day while you're waiting for people. So, for example, when the kids are getting showered and getting ready, you know, that's a good 30 minutes of time to either do a quick sketch or do some writing or just keeping track of, you know, some jotting down some things that you can always flush out later. So, or flesh out later. So, in terms of supplies, I kept these this time very minimal. One of the things I tend to take with me almost every time I go is one of these pencil cases. And let me move that out of the way. So, you can pick this up pretty much at any. Uh, store that sells supplies for school children. This is a you know a, a plastic case. I think this particular one is made. It's called by Better Office Products. Anyway, doesn't matter. They come in different sizes. They come in different colors. I tend to like this one. It's nice and portable. And all that I carry in here is this is my basic travel kit. If I am going anywhere with my travel journal or a journal. This is the kit that comes with me. It's really easy to move around, doesn't take up a lot of room, and the basic supplies I have in there are one of those water brushes, and I know everybody knows what these are at this point, but they're really easy to use, and I just like the convenience of them. I tend to have, you know, a couple of pens. Um, you know, I, I tend to like permanent pens because that way if I add color on top of them later with water, I'm not worried about things bleeding. I usually have a pencil. I like the mechanical pencils. I'm not a big sharpener kind of person. And then I always have a stencil. I'm not sure if you can see that. There you go. Just an alphabet, uh, alphanumeric stencil that I keep and it fits nicely in that particular container. Now, I use this if I'm going to be making labels, if I want to basically have any kind of lettering that's more fancy than my general handwriting, but I also use it to tear. So if you hold a piece of paper against that edge, you get a nice tear. Um, I also use it as a ruler. So if you need a fine line edge for some reason, a straight edge, that will give me that as well. And in here, what I have are watercolor Derwitt pencils. And I have a bunch, I think there's about 16 or so. I think I picked up a pack of 12 of these and then just supplemented with a few colors that I didn't have in that kit. So I'm not sure if this will focus, but it's the Derwent watercolor, just a bunch of colors. I tend to sharpen them either with sharpener or, as you can see in this particular case, I like taking a blade to it and having more of a, um, more of that, what you call it, more of the, um, the lead visible as opposed to what you can get with just a plain sharpener. Okay, so all of this goes directly back in here just so I can show you how it all fits. It travels nice and light. It all snaps together. There you go. Okay, so 90% of the time that's what I'm carrying with me is that box and my journal. Now in this particular trip, and if I'm going for something a little bit longer, a week or more, I tend to take a little bit more things. So for this trip to Las Vegas, what I also took with me were things that fit into this Ziploc bag. 
So this is a quart size Ziploc bag. And well, let's just dump everything out so you can see what was in here. Now, as you can see, as I, as I told you earlier, you will notice that I always carry with me waterproof pens, right? So this is another one back up. I have a Micron just in case. There's a whole bunch of different waterproof pens. Find one that works for you. I, like, I tend to like the Micron ones. I tend to like uh, Uniball. I tend to like um, the Pit pens, right? Those are the ones I tend to go with. Pick a color, pick a um, line width. And just have a couple, you know, I've, I've actually gone on trips and had these die on me, so it's always good to have a couple of extra ones. So that's an extra one just in case. A lot of the writing, if you look at my journals, there's a lot of writing. And I don't want to use these, necessarily use these uh, permanent pens because, one, they're more expensive, and I tend to write a lot, so I go through a pen really quickly. I tend to save these more for sketches or drawings that I do. I use these um, Pilot G2s. In the uh, 07 size, I tend to have um, a black and a blue with me at all times, and I have the refills. So one of the things you'll notice is I take some refills along. I open up the box and I put one black and one blue, just in case, right? So these, this is what I tend to use for most of my writing. So if you look at my journal, almost all the writing that you see are done in these pens. Now, they're not waterproof, so, you know, sometimes accidents happen and they get all smeared. That's fine. I'm totally fine with that. They are also not archival. So there's a whole conversation among art journalists about whether your paints, your inks, your papers are archival. Honestly, I don't care, right? So I'm not expecting anything to last past my death. So if it does, great. If it doesn't, who really cares? But um, I do scan a lot of my journals, so, you know, worst case, I've got a digital copy of them. So that's what I use to do my writing. So those are the pens that are in this kit or in that Ziploc bag. Um, I also tend to have a marker or two. In this particular case, I just took this Pentel film marker. I tend to like using old office supplies that I have lying around, and, you know, it works great. Again, it can also be a marker that, because this is not waterproof, I can actually put a line and then use my, my um, water brush to kind of blur the line a little bit. You know, could be great. Now, this is something I do all the time. Almost all my pens will have a roll of something on them. So in this particular case, it's masking tape, but you can put, you can put rolls of, you know, it's a very easy way to carry tape with you, right? So if you're carrying washi tape, packing tape, different kinds of tape, mask, masking tape, it's really great to, instead of carrying these rolls, so now this is a small roll of kind of a washi tape that I picked up from Michael's. I took this along with me. But, you know, they get kind of clunk, what's the word I'm looking for? They get kind of clunky and take up a lot of room. They're kind of unwieldy. So almost all my pens that are marker pens that I take with me tend to have little rolls on them. They don't get in the way of how I'm using them in terms of writing, but it works really great to have a, a small stash of different rolls of tape that when you're traveling okay you might want to have you know different color washi tapes for example instead of taking these rolls look at how much room that takes out um, takes up yes i've seen people squish them i'm not a big squishing fan so i tend to unroll them and re-roll them on pens on pencils you know on anything in this particular case i had some painter's tape with me all right the other thing I uh, tend to take is one of these, um, this is a double side tape. It's a clear tape and it's, I think it's made by the Craft Collection. It's one of the Tombow tapes. It's refillable, so it just pops out. And the way it works is you open up that lid, you put the tape down, it's double sided, and then you can use it to stick. So a lot of my things that I stick, a lot of the ephemera that gets stuck in my collection when I'm traveling in my journals either happens with this kind of tape or with some washi tape or maybe some packing tape that I might have wrapped around a pen like that. Okay, so that's the other thing. Okay, I always have some deli paper or wax paper with me in case you're working on a page and the page is still wet and you have to stop working for whatever reason. Instead of worrying about things smearing and, and wetting the other, the facing pages, I just basically stick some, um, wax paper or deli paper in between those pages and that works really well to keep things dry um, and safe. 
So that's another one of those papers. I always have, now one of the things you won't see in this stash is paper towels. I always have two or three sheets of paper towels with me. I've clearly used them all up on this trip, but, and they're easily, um, you know, uh, found. So if you're traveling and you don't have any, go to your nearest Starbucks or any restaurant and pick up some of their paper towels. Their napkins work just great. So the other thing that I took with me on this trip um, these are by, let's see, will that focus? These are by Snap Studio, and I think I found the kit at uh, Michael's, and they come in various packs. Now, I usually pick them up when they're on sale, and then I use, you know, they're, they're, they're basically stickers. So I use these kinds of stickers, you know, there's some travel kits, they've got some, you know, they've got some different kinds of words. Um, things like that. And they also have, in case you need extra journaling pages, they have pages that have nice little decorations on them that you can write and then attach into your journal. Okay. So I ended up using some of those stickers on this trip as well. So that's essentially what I took with me on my trip. Everything you see here in one of these quartzite Ziploc bags, my pencil case, what goes with me everywhere, and my journal. Okay, that was it. Now, I'm going to be going uh, on a trip for the holidays for a week, which I'm expecting to have a little bit more time to spend journaling and um, playing with my paints. So when that happens, I tend to take along a, a watercolor set. So let me just move some of this out of the way. So here are two sets that I have that one or the other will go with me if I'm going for a longer period of time. This one is the Winston Newton Cotman set. It's a travel set. It just opens up and, you know, it's got all the usual things you, you would expect in a travel set. But it's got a nice set of colors that works really well. And it's really nice, small, and portable, right? So that might be the one that goes with me this trip. The other one that um, I tend to love the colors in this one, too. This is the Koi Watercolor Pocket Field Sketch Box. And... You know, this one opens up, and there's your pan, okay? So different kinds of colors. I mean, I think it depends. The colors tend to be a little not as intense with this set as opposed to the cotton set, but, you know, they both work equally well for the kinds of things that I do. So one or the other of this, these boxes will definitely be going with me on the trip. So... What I'm expecting to take for this trip is, again, pretty much what you see here. One of these paint boxes, my journal, the box, all of these supplies are going to go with me anyway because, you know, I have them packed from a previous trip. Might as well. They're nice and handy. So that's what I'm going to be taking with my, on my trip. And what I will do when I come back from the trip is I will show you a video of a flip through of the Las Vegas journal. I'm waiting for some couple of photos to come in to finish that journal off. But other than that, it's pretty much done. And other than that, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them for me in the comments section. If you have any ideas that are great for how you travel when you a journal when you're traveling and supplies that you take or any tips, I would love to hear them. Until then, happy holidays and I will see you in the new year. Thank you.